leave us. Hmm? You've been down here all night. Oh, oh there was that much to do. Oh, oh, I must have nodded off. The removal men will do the packing. Oh, I'm not entrusting my valuable knick-knacks and irreplaceable object dar to them. Well, that's what we're paying for. Any road. I'm not going to help you carry tea chests full of stuff down the stairs. Oh, well, maybe not. <laughs> but I'm going to keep a close eye on them all the time and I'll ask you to do so on all. If you like. Now, have you decided when you're actually going? Can't wait to get rid of me. Now, don't be silly. I need to know. Oh, I. So I have to uh, make my preparations. Oh, I. I told you I didn't want any push, Mr. Wilkes. No party, no toast in bar, no speeches of thanks. Oh, no, no. Of course not, Amos. No presentations. Uh, no, Amos. But what time? They're here. The men have got enough to keep them busy, haven't they? Ah, oh, they're right. taking stuff from upstairs. Sit down and finish your tea. Oh, I've not got time to sit down, Mr. Wilson. Amos, will you sit down before you fall down? Where are you going on? Your possessions won't be the only thing to be carried out in a box. Ah, uh, I suppose you're right. Hmm. Yeah. This is one thing I shall miss, Mr. Wilkes. Your excellent tea. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Amos. It's only taken me 18 years to get it right. Well, that can go in box on chair there. Pardon? Frying pan in box on chair with the rest of my utensils. But I thought this pan was ours. <laughs> Mr Wilkes, if you cast your mind back, I purchased that pan from Morgan's in Otten after the last one was destroyed by fire. Oh, aye, that's right. Back with the day, you made breakfast and uh, let the fat burn and it melted the handle. <laughs> Correct, Mr Wilkes. But the old pan was ours. But new pan were mine. I have not got time for idle chit-chat with likes of you, Seth Armstrong. If you want a drink, Mr Wilkes will see to you. If all you're after is banal conversation, you'd be well advised to go down to your friend Ernie Shuttleworth. <laughs> I never thought I'd hear that. He must really tell him his most loyal customer to go to his rival's mm. pub. Hey, go easy with that. Great sentimental value as that. I hope he is evil can evil. A very droll, Seth. Now, what are you doing here? I'm just giving a hand, fetching and carrying. The only carrying you ever do is a pint from the bar to your lips. Is that enough for Mr Turner? No, it is not. Come to that, Mr Turner. May I ask what you are doing here? <laughs> I'm just being neighbourly. Oh, well, Woolpack's not yours yet, so I'd like to ask you to leave my private quarters. You and all, Seth. Come on, shift yourselves. Very crowded in here, I must. <laughs> oh, Alan, what's this I hear about you winning a motorbike? Oh, yes, yes, it's a splendid machine. I'm speeding down the Colton Road. I, I felt like a new man. The wind rushing through my leathers. Been in uh, curry, Mr Turner. I don't believe it. I assure you, Henry. I, I, all that power between your legs, it's... Not you. My chair, look. My chair's gone. The frying pan I didn't mind. But to take my chair... I didn't, Mr Wilson. Obviously made a mistake. You should spend less time chatting and concentrate on what's going on. Hey! You take my chair! There you are. All my worldly goods, Mr. Wilkes. My whole life in a lorry makes you feel quite insignificant. <laughs> quite. Everybody in the bar's asking for you. They want to know what your plans are. Well, you know what they are. No, I don't. When are you leaving? Now? Tonight? Here today. Gone tomorrow. What? Bye! Just a little lorry, Lord. I think I've served my last pint, Mr. Wilkes. Right. <clears throat> Although, on the other hand... I brought the volleyballs, Dolly. Shh! What? Shh! I don't want Amos to know I've planned out. He thinks the bar is empty. Oh. Leave it at all. Shh! We've got to pretend we're not here, Archie. An interesting philosophical exercise. Some people think that the whole of life is just a dream, you know. Archie, we are trying to surprise Amos. That shouldn't be difficult, then. Hey, that's a nice spread, Dolly. Ha. 
didn't trust the removal men with great granddad then? No, Mr. Wilkes. Oh. <laughs> um, well, I'm glad you're still here. Well, I couldn't see any point in rushing off. I suppose I really ought to find time to say goodbye to my friends. Good, good. I'm pleased. So when Sarah comes on, perhaps you could run me up to Emmerdale to say goodbye to Annie. Yes, yeah, go. Oh, now I think of it. She's going out. PCC, I think. Oh, really? Hmm. Oh, well, maybe I'll stroll down to the village hall then. I can see Tony and all. Oh, no, 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 no. It's, it's, it's very cold out there. You wouldn't want to do that now, would you? Oh, hi, Mr. Wilkes. Oh, maybe I'll just look in bar. If there's anybody in, that is. Oh, yes, 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 there are a few. Oh, <laughs> Grand, that'll give me a chance to pull my last uh, pint. You, so you, you want to go in there, do you? Why not, Mr. Wilkes? Um... Mr. Wilkes, you wouldn't be hiding out from me, would you? Oh. What's the use? We are too long in the tooth to play games <laughs> with each other. Come on through. No <laughs> 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 drink to house, Denise Amos. Certainly not. Just cos I'm leaving, I see no reason to change habits of a lifetime. <laughs> Never mind, Amos. You stick to your principles. I'll buy everybody a drink. Here. That should last at least ten minutes. Oh. Thank you very much, Mr. Wilson. Well, right, yeah. All right, everybody. You'll all get five, please. Large one for me, please. Ladies and gentlemen, Amos don't want any speeches, so he's not going to get any. But I would like to propose a toast to wish him a very happy retirement. Yeah. To Amos. Yeah. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know how many pints I've pulled in all these years I've been landlord at Woolpack, but it must run into hundreds of thousands. <laughs> and I am now pulling my last one. <laughs> and it's going to be for... me. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not going to pay for it, Mr Wilkes. Oh. Your very good health, ladies and gentlemen. Cheers. 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 Cheers mm, not bad, though, I say it myself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I certainly will, Annie. <laughs> Excuse me, thank you, Miss Conway. <laughs> My goodness, somebody's been busy. It's a lovely spread. Thank you very much. <laughs> we wanted a candle for every year you've been at the wool pack. We couldn't find enough. <laughs> <laughs> you should have given us more warning. No, oh, well, I quite like surprising people, Dolly. Look. Yes, I must. <laughs> Go on, blow it out. Mm? <laughs> 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 I know I shouldn't, but as it's my last night, I'm going to. I know it's forbidden, but I can't resist it. Amos! <laughs> One last pipe. <laughs> <laughs> and then I shan't smoke again. Eh? I bet you've been dying for a smoke ever since you had your stroke. Nah, doctor said I weren't to. Oh, one night won't harm. <laughs> as long as this is just one night. Don't you worry. Right, hold it there, Amos. Say cheese. Thank you. Another one. Hang on a minute. Just wind it on. Oh. Nice one. Thank you. Thank you, man. Okay. I'm very glad to see that you're enjoying my cake, Mr. Turner. Thank you, Mr. Wilkes. There we are. <sighs> <sighs> yeah, finish your packing then? Mm-hmm. Sure you've got everything? All right. Ordered your taxi? And said my goodbyes. Oh. I thought I'd take a turn on forecourt, take my last look at pub. Do you want to join me? Why not? Can share a cope on her own? Of course she can. <laughs> She's come on very well as Miss Conley the knows. <laughs> Mr. Turner could do worse than keep her on. Hmm. Could do worse than Mr. Turner, I suppose. <laughs> there, finished. Hey, Moss. It's all right, Mr. Wilkes. Smoking is bad for you.
I think it's right going to a younger man. Ah, well. Us old uns have got a few innings left in us yet, eh? Well, I certainly hope so, Henry. Henry? I can't remember the last time I heard you call me that. <laughs> well, maybe it's not a night for formality, Mr. Wilkes. Nay, <laughs> <laughs> nay, nay, Mr. Brayley. I think you're right. <laughs> I shall miss it, the nose. Yes. I know. Do you know? Aye. Oh, come here, you silly old fool. 